that there in our in the last class we have discussed about these right uh, these all preparation of the normal salts and uh, and what uh, like neutralization reaction and the uh, one more should be there these one the direct combination displacement that we are combining the two elements to form a salts uh, this is known as the direct combination this one was displacement active plus acid will get a salt and hydrogen oh hi safia okay so after that these were the these are the neutralization reaction so first is neutralization of an acid with a soluble base and neutralization of an acid with insoluble base so neutralization reaction is of two types one for soluble one and at the far insoluble one okay so what's written here salts are readily produced by the neutralization reaction between acids and bases neutralizing an acid with a soluble base is known as titration ha huh. if we will do a neutralization reaction between a salt and base then what we will produce will get a salt plus water right because acid plus base will get a salt plus water any salt nacl for example if i am taking then acid plus base will will get a salt and water that's why it's written here that salts are readily produced by the neutralization reaction right salts are produced by the neutralization reaction neutralization means the uh, reaction between the acids and bases to produce a salts and here if we are neutralizing an acid with a soluble base this process is known as titration okay neutralizing an acid with a soluble is known as titration these are the two reactions hno3 plus naoh sodium hydroxide giving this water and this salt this process is known as titration of acid with a soluble base and of acid with a insoluble base is what when acid reacts with insoluble base to give a corresponding salt here also it's the same thing it will produce mgo pbo cu uh, copper lead okay so these are the two reactions of neutralizing an acid with a soluble base and neutralizing an acid with a insoluble bases now the next is what next is reaction of metal with alkali theek hai so on reaction of metals with alkali what we will get evolution of hydrogen gas takes place evolution what do you mean by evolution anybody Safia, what is the meaning of evolution? Nobody. Um, what did you ask? Ha, huh, what is the meaning of this evolution of hydrogen gas? Means evolution. What is the meaning of evolution? Um, um, it means that hydrogen gas is produced as a product of the reaction. Yes, through the process of <coughs> the electrolysis, right? <coughs> okay. So here, what uh, what will happen <coughs> on reaction <coughs> on reaction of metal with <clears throat> just a second okay so now it's better so zn plus 2 naoh on boiling it's producing sodium zincate plus hydrogen gas evolved here okay in this reaction also hydrogen gas is evolving evolving here also here also so these the on reaction with metals because zinc is metal lead is also metal and this is aluminium which is a metal so on reaction with so on reaction of metal with alkali these are what these are alkalis i have already told uh, what is alkali right in the previous lectures so what is alkali here it's sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide and one more sodium hydroxide so if a metal is combining with a uh, hydro means if a metal is combining with the alkali group of alkali groups then what will happen then the evolution of hydrogen gas takes place okay any metal with alkali the hydrogen gas will evolve okay so these these are these were the three reactions one is neutralization of acid means we are neutralizing a acid with what this is what this is a base sodium hydroxide hydroxide is a basic group right so this is uh ha huh. acid with a soluble base we will get this salt and water this process is known as titration here acid with insoluble base acid with insoluble base okay and the last one was the reaction of metals all the metals will get reacted with the alkalis to produce what to produce uh, to produce some of the products and obviously the 
H2 will evolve here. Okay, the evolution of hydrogen gas will take place. Now the second one. So here, first we discussed about the preparation of normal salts first from soluble salts. Okay, first we discussed about the soluble salts. Second, in the soluble salts, I've already discussed the, what are the properties of the soluble salts like potassium, uh, K. These are the proper uh, properties of the soluble salts, right? The Na, K, NH4 are soluble. You have to keep this point in priority to of each and every point. The chlorides are soluble, sulfates are soluble. Okay. So these are the soluble salts I've already discussed. And what is insoluble salts? Insoluble salts are these, the carbonates, bicarbonates, sulfides, sulfide are insoluble salts. Okay, so you have to go through uh, the, uh, you have to go through from these reactions. Now the second one is from insoluble salts. Soluble, uh, soluble are here, uh, the three points also include in the solubility, the neutralization of acid with soluble base, then the insoluble base and the last one is reaction of metal with alkali. Now the last one is from insoluble salts. Insoluble salts are what? Are what? Right now, I told you what are insoluble salts. Rudra, what are what are insoluble salts? Okay, Safia, what are insoluble salts? See, these are the insoluble salts, right? Carbonates, bicarbonate, sulfide, sulfide, insoluble. These all are the soluble salts. Okay. Now, so insoluble salts. In the soluble also, there was direct combination. Here also, direct combination is there. Now, in this method, reactants directly combine to form an insoluble salt. Means if we have to, you know, form an insoluble salt, then we have to combine what? Pb plus S. If we have to form insoluble salts of uh, iron sulfide, then we will combine this iron and we will combine this sulfur. So the direct combination we will apply here. If anything is there like PBS, FES, then we will uh, combine these two. PB plus S, lead plus sulfur. Fe is iron plus sulfur. Okay, so this is the direct combination. And in the soluble salts, the direct combination was we have to combine two or more metals, right? To produce a uh, salt and water. Two or more metals we have to Huh, sorry, two or more elements we have to combine. Two or more elements. And in that elements, our metals are also included and the non-metals are also included in the soluble one. And here in the insoluble salts, if we'll talk about this direct combination one. So here what we have to do, here only the directly combining to forming an insoluble salts. Okay. And the last one is by the combination of an acidic oxide with a basic oxide. So what is this? When acidic, when when acidic oxide reacts with basic oxide, calcium sulfide is formed because the insoluble uh, salts contain carbonate, sulfide, sulfide, all are there, right? So here in the reaction of acidic oxide and the basic oxide, we are forming a Calcium sulfide. Sulfide is a property of insoluble salts. Sulfide is a property. Okay, let us let me check. Yes, sulfide is the property of insoluble salts because these are my insoluble salts. Carbonate by sulfide. Sulfide are insoluble. Okay, any doubt here? Anybody any doubt in the soluble and insoluble salts? Preparation of salts with the help of these two, the soluble one and another one is insoluble one. So, any doubt? Come on, tell me fast so that I can move further. Rudra, Rudra, are you there? Okay, Safia, Safia, are you there? Okay, so let yes, me move. So, understood about these two water insoluble and insoluble salts? Any doubt? Come on, at least answer me. Mm -hmm. No answer? Okay, well, we'll move ahead. So, the next topic is these we are, uh, these all are done, right? Acid, spaces, pH values. And salts, two types of salt. Uh, Ma'am, I think there's some issue with my audio. Okay, so you can write a message. Uh, uh, any doubt? Uh, it's raining there. I, I know. Okay, any doubt? Answer me yes or no. No? Okay. Hello. Let's move further. So after acid, bases, pH value, salts. Salts are also done. Insoluble, soluble salts. You have to go through with all the reactions. And the next one is about our salts. Okay, so first is what common salt. 
so first let me write that we will be studying five types of salts okay five salts now what is first one first one is um hmm. first one is common salt okay first is common salt now what is common salt common salt is that type of salt which we use means nacl nacl we usually use right nacl means sodium chloride so these are the this is the first type of salts now what uh, so nacl is known as the common salt okay which is common which we commonly use now what is the second one second one is bleaching powder second we will be studying about this bleaching powder now what is bleaching powder the, what is the formula of this bleaching powder i'll discuss i'll explain about this okay i'll explain this but first let me write the types of salt means five types of salt okay so what is the formula of this bleaching powder the formula of this bleaching powder is caocl2 okay now what is caocl2 ca you already know ca is calcium cl is chloride okay and what is o o we already know is oxygen but here we will write oxychloride means this is the formula of bleaching powder cao cl2 ca means calcium c uh, cl means chloride and o means oxychloride okay so this is the formula of this bleaching powder what is the third one third is the baking soda baking soda is also type of salt now what is the formula of baking soda anybody no uh, uh rudra what is the formula of baking soda do you know yes come on okay safia what is the formula of this baking soda mm, it's ra it's raining there safia hello am i audible huh. you can you can write that what is the formula of baking soda any idea about it uh it is c a h c o 3 it is n a h c o 3 it is NaHCO3. Okay. The formula of baking soda is NaHCO3. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. Just a minute. Huh. So the formula of baking soda is NaHCO3. Now what is Na? Na we all know. Na is sodium. H also we all know, right? H is hydrogen and CO3 is what? carbonate one more name of nhco3 is sodium bicarbonate okay sodium bicarbonate so this is the another name so this is the formula of baking soda the bleaching powder formula is calcium oxy and baking is nhco3 now what is the fourth type of salt fourth is my washing soda fourth is my washing soda now what is the formula of this washing soda the formula of washing soda is na2 you all have to memorize uh, no like don't memorize it just just learn it means <laughs> just go through this then you'll get to know okay that this is the formula of this common salt is very common that we that we use nacl bleaching is calcium oxy baking nah now what is washing washing is na2co3 dot h2 and why this dot h2 i'll explain this i'll explain this in a i'll explain briefly about this what is dot 10 h2 later okay so this is the formula of uh, of washing soda and what is the full form of this what is the chemical name i mean what is the chemical name of this it is what it is sodium sodium carbonate and it co3 is what is sodium carbonate now what is dot then h2 it is decahydrate deca means what deca means 10 10 is for deca right and h2 is water it's it means hydrate so the chemical name is sodium carbonate decahydrate okay now what is the fifth one hmm. fifth one is pop pop means plaster of paris plaster of paris now what is the formula of this plaster of paris the formula is caso4 dot half h2o okay the formula is ca formula is what caso4 plus half h2o okay okay now uh, sorry huh. so what is the uh, full form of the caso4 plus half h2o it is again ca is calcium so4 means sulfate sulfate 
and here is what here was 10 that's why we are writing that's why we wrote deca and here is what half so we'll write hemi okay hemi hydrate it's hemi hydrate so these were the five types of salts one was common salt which we commonly use one is bleaching powder bleaching powder is type of you know um for cloth and all we use this these kinds of powder hai na one is baking soda for preparing our food baking soda is used for washing our clothes this washing soda is used and pop is also is used when our hand gets fractured right the plaster of paris only we do in our hand that's it uh, at the time of fracture so this is the pop the plaster of paris now we will learn the brief introduction about each one of them okay so here hmm. first we will learn about this a uh, common common salt okay wait this okay hmm. so first we will learn about this common salt here what is this here this is my salt this is also my salt means nacl right the common type of salt this is what this is nacl it means common types of salt means which we commonly use now the next we'll explain it i'll explain it now so the uh, brief introduction is First, let me write it about the common salt. Common and salt. Okay. So, common salt is what? Common salt is NaCl. We all know about it. And Na means sodium. Cl means chloride. Okay. So, sodium chloride is the chemical name of NaCl. Now, in NaCl, NaCl is distributed in three types. One is Cl two. another one is naoh and the third one is h2 okay so here ha huh, so nacl is divided into into three types cl2 naoh and h2 what is cl2 cl2 is a chlorine gas cl2 is a chlorine gas h2 is a hydrogen gas hydrogen gas and what is naoh naoh is a type of is a type of what is a type of alkali right because alkali is a type of alkali is uh, alkali is basic in nature hai na and here is naoh oh means hydroxide and oh is a basic basic so that's why this nah is a type of alkali so uh, this part you got it ki nacl is further made up of these three types the chlorine gas hydrogen gas and alkali now what is uh, the the name of this chlorine gas uh, the short form is chlor c h l o r okay that's why this whole process that's why this whole process is known as chlor alkali process okay why because c l h o r is, is for chlorine gas alkali is for naoh alkali is for naoh which is basic in nature right so the combination of these three to make our common salt uh, this process is fully known as the chloralkali process now let us ha huh. so here let's take one beaker okay let's say this is my beaker and inside that beaker we will take a brine solution inside the beaker we will take a brine solution now what is brine solution what is the meaning of this what is the combination of this solution to make it a brine solution so brine solution is called a nacl plus water okay brine solution is the combination of these two things brine solution is a combination of uh, these two one is nacl and the other one is water okay so na is what na we already know na is na plus and um, yes sorry na is what na is na plus and cl minus right and water we all know which is h2o okay so in this beaker we are taking one brine solution brine solution is the combination of the salt and water okay so let's take let's say this is my solution this is my brine solution the combination of the salt and water now here we will make two types of electrodes okay this is my two types of electrodes here minus 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 plus 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 now this is connected with okay just a minute okay so this is what this is ha huh. 
so this is what this is a prime uh, solution okay so here i took these two electrodes the minus one and the plus one and this is connected with one uh, like the electricity is passing here okay so what's the, the minus one is known as the cathode i know and the plus one oh, is known as what plus one is sorry for the disturbance ha huh. so this is what this is minus okay and this one is plus plus is we all know plus is anode okay so here what will happen uh, here is my hydrogen gas here is my hydrogen gas and this side is my chlorine gas okay this side was this side is chlorine gas i'll explain how and this side is my sodium hydroxide and here the solution is what this is a brine solution okay this is a brine solution now okay so this diagram is done now what we will see mm -hmm. see what we see we see a hydrogen gas coming out from cathode hai na hydrogen gas is coming out from cathode and we see a chlorine gas is coming out from anode right and one more reaction will happen from which the sodium hydroxide will also form now how this how why uh, cathode is coming out from like why hydrogen gas is coming out from cathode and why chlorine is coming out from anode so see this is my this is minus 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 this one is plus 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 this is my minus one we already know this one is cathode and plus we all know this is sorry anode hai na so for the nacl nacl is the combination of two things na plus and cl minus right so both are aqueous both are aqueous in nature right so here plus ion plus is what so here plus ion cation plus ion is what plus ion is a cation ion so plus ion will move to cathode okay plus ion will move to cathode and what is my cathode cathode is my minus and my negative ion which is my which is my anion will move to anode and what is my anode anode is positive because opposite charges attracts each other why this cation is going towards cathode and why this anion is going towards anode because the opposite charges attracts each other opposite charges attracts each other hai na so here my minus 1 will attract towards this positive cathode and this anion one will attract towards the plus 1 which is anode minus is cathode plus is anode and the plus and the minus is anion and the plus is cation so plus is attracting towards minus and minus is attracting towards plus so now what will happen ki sodium see here uh, na is my what na is na plus hai na so sodium needs electrons so it will take from cathode because it's minus here that's why we'll say ki sodium needs electron so it will take it from cathode so it will take it from where take it from cathode so it will take it from cathode right now now let's see what will happen that sodium needs electron and it will take from cathode so the reaction will be like reaction will be an a plus plus one electron minus giving an a because if sodium needs electrons so obviously it will going to combine with the minus one because the opposite charges attracts each other hai na so sodium needs electron why because plus is there na that's why sodium need minus so sodium needs electron so it will take it from a cathode so here here is the same thing if minus needs something then obviously it will take from this cathode the minus one hai na so here na plus plus one electron minus we are giving one electron to my sodium which will become for na okay sodium ion here sodium ion will accept one electron sodium ion will accept one electron now what will happen after sodium becomes solid this sodium becomes what solid because it's not having a plus charge not having a minus charge it's solid right because if it's need one electron so it already took it from the cathode one so it becomes a solid na s why i'm writing s means 
solid okay so here after sodium becomes solid after sodium become become solid it will react with water it will react with what it will react with water it means the reaction will be like na which is my solid one it will it will react with water then it will be then it will then the uh, product will be what product will be naoh plus h2 okay h is what I, I, h is what hydrogen gas and what is naoh naoh is sodium hydroxide now see here here i told lucky why from the cathode hydrogen gas is coming out and why from the anode no no and why uh, one more uh, thing is coming out which is sodium hydroxide so from here only we discover that from this part only ki if sodium needs one electron so sodium will take one electron from the cathode okay because sodium is minus it will take from the cathode cathode and it will become one it will become a solid so after sodium become solid it will react with water and after reacting with water it will produce the two products two outputs which is sodium hydroxide and another one is hydrogen gas so with reacting with cathode ha na so here see it's what it's cathode and here also sodium needs one electron so always obviously it will react with cathode so after reacting with cathode and becoming a solid sodium it will produce a hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide which is my nacl now you will get to know ki okay that why from this cathode side the hydrogen gas is evolving the hydrogen gas is present and why the sodium hydroxide gas is also present because of this reason only these two are present because the sodium needs one electron so it will take it from the cathode sodium needs it will take from this cathode the minus one because positive and negative opposite charges attract each other so after becoming a solid sodium it will react with water after reacting with water because brine solution is nothing but water right see brine is what ha huh? brine is nothing but a salt plus water so in my beaker obviously water is there so cathode after reacting it will produce a hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide that's why these two things is is in the side of the cathode and i'll also talk i'll also you know explain that why the chlorine gas is there in the side of anode so let's talk about that mm -hmm. this part you got na ki how ki why hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide is in the part of cathode why this side why not that side this you got it everybody uh, uh, rudra and safia you got this part that that why how this is uh, you know this is reacting with water and producing a hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide got it tell me yes or no every time i have to ask like 10 times okay don't 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 answer i'll now explain that why hydrogen that why this chlorine gas is coming out from this side okay so see if i am writing cl minus then what is the meaning of the cl minus cl minus means ki it's having one extra electron and if i am writing na plus na plus means what na plus means it wants one extra electron right wants one extra electron that's why here na combined with what ha huh. that's why here na combined with one electron minus why because sodium needs one extra electron and here cl is having minus so cl is having extra electron so what cl will do cl will donate one electron ki chalo okay i am having one extra electron now you take so the reaction will be 2 cl if i am balancing if i'll balance then the reaction will be 2 okay otherwise it will only be cl so 2 cl cl2 plus 2 electron minus now this equation is balanced see 2 cl 2 cl and 2 electron so this cl was having one extra electron so here cl denoted one extra electron so cl2 cl2 is what we already know it's a chlorine gas chlorine gas bubbles start rising in the surrounding of anode rod the chlorine bubble gas cl2 is a chlorine gas so i'm writing it's chlorine gas bubbles bubbles means these small small water droplets starts rising it starts rising in the surrounding of what 
in the surrounding of a node rod right so let me check whether this diagram is correct or not so here the okay this diagram is correct why because from the anode side the chlorine gas is surround it's it's there right it's in the side of the anode gas and in the side of the cathode gas so we already know okay, okay why these hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide is in the side of cathode gas because na wants one extra electron that's why na will combine with cathode and after forming a solid sodium it will produce what it will react with water to produce a sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas that's why the sodium hydroxide and the hydrogen gas is in this side with the side of the cathode and why this anode and why this chlorine gas is in the side of anode because here my chlorine gas is cl minus so cl minus means it's having one extra electron so if it's having one extra electron so it will what it will it will donate one electron right so after donating the bubbles starts rising in the surrounding of this anode gas so that's why here in the parallel of this anode gas the chlorine gas i wrote okay so this part i think you all understood in the, it's already 4:45 in the next class we'll discuss about that ki what are the uses of this you know what are the uses of this common salt and what are the no we will learn about ki what are the uses of these three the chlorine gas the hydrogen gas and the sodium hydroxide because the calcium because the common salt is made up of three the mixture of the three kinds of yeah, uh, two gases and one alkali that's why if if anyone will ask you that okay then what's what do you mean by this chlor alkali process then what will you answer you will answer that the nacl is made up of three types the chlorine gas hydrogen gas and alkali so the combination of these three is the process of this chlor alkali process mm -hmm. okay so today uh, we have discussed about only this the common salt and why this this part is here in the side of cathode and why this part is there in the side of anode okay so after that in the next class we'll discuss about the uses and we will discuss about the further types of salts the bleaching baking washing and the plaster of paris okay so everybody thank you thank you bye bye please go through this diagram and go through this the written part of mine why this is happening and why that is happening okay thank you bye bye